All right, what's up guys? My name is Billy and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to do Kuiji bow and it looks like this. So let's get started. Alrighty, so as you can see, this trick has a couple tricky elements into it, but once you break it down, watch a bunch of slow-mos, it's really not that hard to get. So we're gonna start it off getting into a trapeze, right? So how do we do this hop? right here. When we unwrap our hands, it's just a one and a half mil. So we want to start by doing an Eli hop. When you hop it up, essentially what we're doing is we're taking and we're intercepting this string with our throw hand pointer finger and we're bringing our non-throw hand underneath our throw hand onto that string right here. Right? So right here jumping, intercepting, and landing. A cup, one thing that could potentially happen with when doing this part of the trick is you land on both strings. And what's happening here is when you land on both strings like this, it just means your strings aren't being separated as much as they should. And in order to counteract this, um, it helps if you put in your two fingers or on your non-throw hand over here when you do it so you can open up and spread them a little bit to separate. So now when we're here we're gonna roll, okay? Now you don't want to just uncross your hands or else the yo-yo is gonna dismount like that. What you want to do is you want to keep is you want to keep your string or keep your finger underneath the yo-yo. So if you look at it like this way instead of just uncrossing your hands because then the yo-yo is just going to dismount, right? But you want to loop your finger underneath the yo-yo in order to keep it on the string like that, right? So then when you're doing that motion, you want to continue that motion and bring your throw hand over top of your, or your not throw hand, over top of your throw hand, like so. We just crossed, uncrossed, and now we're crossing again, okay? So, we're here going on top, now we're here. Now this is probably the most difficult part of the trick because this is where we're gonna hop, uncross, and land on that front string. And believe me, when I first saw a tutorial on how to do that part, I was like, okay, hold on, what now? And it wasn't until I actually just tried doing it that it worked. So we're gonna hop the yo-yo up off of that string, uncross our fingers, so now we're here and then essentially when it's in the air land on that front string like so now as daunting as that may seem so you're hopping uncrossing and landing on that front string and as you see here it's very common to land on both of those strings um, what helps to keep those strings separate is in my case I'll have this string kind of around my thumb back here and I'll just make sure that this string is kind of around my hand like so. So when I hop and I uncross, those strings are separated. Um, I just find that to be a lot more helpful and more successful. Although it does, it will ride up on your wrist over here and you'll have to just shake that down. Alrighty. So then from here, you're going to hop, drop this string coming off your uh, non-throw hand and land on this back string like so. Hop, drop this, land it on the back like this, and then you're just into a trapeze which you can then bind. Or you can dismount however you want, that's just what I do. Cross, here, here. And that's all there is to it. That's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I hope that this helped you and uh, we'll see you in the next one.